Let's talk about the process. Okay. Tell me about it a little. Are you allowed to, or okay. would you have to kill us? Well, we, we like you. Can you so give us a little, just, just a little, little bit of little information? Insight. What is public information? We will. That's give you. good. That's give us the right. public information. Public information. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the main part of our process is that we completely cook the bagel in the boiling water. Typically, a bagel is only in the water for about 60 seconds to change the nature of the crust. Okay. When the bagel typically comes out of the water after 60 seconds, it's still raw inside, so it's not edible and it's not stable. It will continue to rise if you don't immediately bake it or freeze it at that point. Okay. By cooking it completely in the water, what comes out of the boiling water is a bagel that is completely cooked and edible, though it doesn't have that palatable, crispy crust. Like what so you see all, here. Right, so all you need to do is to put it in an oven at 450 or 475, the hotter the oven, the less the cooking time, baking time, and crisp it so that it has a nice golden brown crust on it. And some people like them light brown, some people like them darker brown, and you can customize that to your own palate. Now, so you get the best of both worlds. Exactly. Right. So now typically right. a bagel, as she said, spends 30 seconds to a minute in water. 10% of its life is spent in water, moist heat, and 90% of its life, its life is spent in a dry heat, which hence draws the moisture out. That's why traditionally people buy a dozen bagels, bring them home, maybe, maybe for three hours they'll have one or two or if they have a brunch or whatever, but if they have anything left over, you freeze them, you slice them, you toast them because that's the only way you can eat them because they dry out and they become inedible. Right. So if you were, the joy of our bagel is because they're fully cooked in the water, shelf stable, then frozen, you keep them in the freezer or refrigerator when you want a fresh baked bagel, pop it right on the rack of your oven at 450, don't have to preheat or defrost, 10 minutes. Wow. Fresh baked. So, 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 so there's that piece, which is the joy of it. That's amazing. That's amazing in itself. Wholesalers must the love other, that. Well, not yeah, food service people, yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally, right. totally delis houses, in her, yeah, delis. exactly. Love it because two things. One, well, the couple things. One, food service people, in-store bakeries or what have you, you always have to deal with wastage with bagels, mm -hmm. and, they're, and they get stale quickly. So you have to make your bagel chips, you have to make your mm -hmm. bread puddings, or whatever it might be, and some of them do that. But our bagels, you can bake them fresh throughout the day, so you don't have to have On the demand. wasted. On demand, exactly. That's a treat in itself. However, you can also take our bagel, bake it, and put it up against another bagel that's a different manufacturing process, spending most of its time in a dry oven, and our bagels, bar none, will stay, I just, I had a bagel that, that was baked one morning at about 10 or 11 o'clock, and I had it over 36 hours later, and it was still moist. Wow. It's the moist heat that does it. So really, our product, because of how it's manufactured, the health benefit, the texture, the artisan type experience, or what have you, does not exist in the marketplace, except for our bread products. Wow. It does not exist, it's huge. It's revolutionary. Which is why you just won the Innovation Award. Innovative Product of the Year for 2010 by Bakery Which is Management na across Magazine. the nation, right? National Correct. Award. It's huge. We just came back from a food show up in Toronto, a grocery innovation show up in Toronto. They loved us. They loved our product. I can't tell you how the Canadians loved our product. It was great. Because they know it doesn't exist. So we have lots of following up that's happening with brokers and distributors. And that's in so fact, exciting. It is. Very exciting. This year... Uh, this month, actually, we've been working with a distributor from Japan for the last year and a half is going to place an order for distribution in Japan, other parts of the Orient. We met a Chinese man, a wonderful man in, from Calgary in Canada who works, he brings Canadian products to Taiwan and Taiwanese products to Canada. Loved the product at the, at the show in Toronto. Wow. Wants to bring our products to Taiwan. Um, so we have- like, Amazing. We're on the verge I, of some huge things I, about to happen. I don't know happen. about you, John, but I'm hungry. <laughs> no kidding. Can we start eating a little bit? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, while we're eating, <laughs> sorry folks at home, while we're eating, you can tell the folks at home where they can find your bagels. Okay. Back home in Charlottesville. I don't know if the camera can see these, but these are our bagelini sandwiches. Now this is something that we make for the Charlottesville City Market every Saturday. At and, the Bagel Ladies Cafe. Uh, the Bagel Ladies Cafe at the Charlottesville City Market. We have a variety of bagelini sandwiches, fresh grilled on the panini press, mm. which we've nicknamed the bagelini press. <laughs> so we take our bagels, which are the great zero glucose 
wheat-based bread product and assemble egg and cheese sandwiches mm. with you know, all kinds of wonderful different flavors or veggie burgers and make bagelini. So if you'd like, I can cut these and we can share them. I like. We also have uh, fresh baked bagels and we have some cream cheeses. So one of the places where you can enjoy our product is every Saturday, now from eight until two in downtown Charlottesville at the farmer's market, city market. At you can also purchase Cafe. our bagels in the boxes here that we see. Um, at Rebecca's Integral Yoga, Foods of All Nations, Greenwood Market out wow. in Crozet, Whole, Whole Foods, Foods in the bakery freezer. Um, in the bakery freezer. Yeah. Right, the bakery okay. freezer at Whole Foods. Did I get them all? Yeah, you got them all. We're, we're a lot of places we're... around the country now. Yeah. And in mom and pop uh, coffee shops. And we're at, um, we're at, the, we're at Martha Jefferson. We're at the hospital. Fantastic. They, they serve the bagels at our um, at the ca at the cafe there, and they also make them for new mothers of babies. Oh, that's wonderful. That, I'm so impressed. So, how long do you have until your patent wears off? Like, how long do they last? Until it wears off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your patent is 20 years from the date of application, so that would make it like 2020, I think. So Something I can I, like I can that. imagine that you you better so, get all your all your uh, sales in before then because well what we're hoping for <laughs> is um, we are um, you know always looking for investment because we need to grow to the next step and our next step that we're growing toward is an acquisition because of what we have and because of our innovation award that we just received. Uh, we think the Pillsbury Doughboy will come a knocking real soon, or somebody like that, right. because a company like that has the infrastructure uh, to spread this product all over the globe. We don't have that ability. We are creative people, and we're entrepreneurial, and we are just That's making smart. sure that the product is ready to hand off to the proper partner who can take this where we can't take it. Very smart, very smart. So Yeah, yeah it's wonderful. Well, um, I think that, do you make the, the schmear? Do you make the yes, cream cheese as well? Yes, we make the cream cheese And that's for as sale well. as well? In, right, in at, the, at the Bagel Ladies Only Cafe. A, at the Bagel Ladies Cafe on Saturdays. And I think right. what we have is we have um, garlic tomato provençal is one of our mm. flavors that we have here. We have, um, one of my faves is uh, cherry dark chocolate. And what's the third one? Artichoke and roasted pepper. Artichoke and roasted red pepper. Those are the three flavors that we wow. brought today. Yay, we need a sample. which we're about to feast on. Yes, we are. Yeah. So um, what do we need to do here? And well, let me s I, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to sort of bring us to an end here as we begin to feast on our bagels. We thank you both so much for coming on the show. Our pleasure. So um, it would be rude to sort of eat with present company. <laughs> So on this note, we are going to wrap this show, but we thank Janet and Cynthia for coming on. And uh, is there a place where they can uh, see, find you on the web? Do you have a website? Oh, absolutely. You can go to bakem, B-A-K-E-M-M-M dot com, or you can go to mm. agnesveryvery.com. Mm. Or, you or can just, just search organic Google bagel. We'll organic. come up on the first page. We're yeah. usually the first or second thing every time. Mm. Mm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, you guys, thank you so, so much for coming. It's delicious. We really appreciate it. Thank you it. for having us. Thank you so much. Thanks for sticking around for a great show today. We're going to wrap it up. And if you wanted to uh, get one of Jesse Harper's um, uh, CDs, you can find them on iTunes. His album is called Jesse Harper, Best Intentions. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. We're a big, you know, social media uh crew, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Facebook, you can see us at What's Going On Seville. Like us and, and keep up with what's going on around. And uh, who else do we want to thank since it's Thanksgiving time? Well, your hair has never looked as beautiful as it looks right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's, that's Edgar down at Reflections. Thank you, Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Edgar. <laughs> you can also get uh, viewing times on the bottom of the screen. It'll magically appear right here. It's channel 13, Mondays at 6 p.m. and again at 11, and Tuesdays at 4 p.m. And also on Virginia Living TV, 94.7, twice a day, every day for a week. So make sure you tune in and watch what's going on in Seville. We'd appreciate that. Thank you. Spread the good word. BLTV. Yeah.